agents or AI. Mm -hmm. So these little kinds of field points are we doing? What is AI? Different types of AI, how do it find in our day to day? And then I'll do our call to action. So before I start on the potentials of AI, just a video to kind of show you what's capable of. That's it. There you go. Who's the best game? Right, what is the agenda? <laughs> How do I increase the volume? Um, it is the best game. Guys, what is the objective in this game? There is no objective. It's stupid. No, your mom is stupid. Oh, yeah? Well, you're stupider. Donald stupider is not a word. Oh, my God, they have golf carts. I'm going to steal your golf cart. <laughs> Joe, I swear to God, if you touch my golf cart. Donald, I think Joe just stole your golf cart at all. I bet you can't catch me, you orange Oompa Loompa looking Tootsie Pop. Oh, my God, he just roasted you. Joe, this is the police. Pull over the golf cart now. Hey, Donald, have you ever seen Fast and Furious? Everyone has seen those movies, Joe. It's all about, about, uh, from, um, uh, uh, um, I think Joe just fell asleep again. Joe, wake up, you 80-year-old dinosaur. Huh? What, what happened? You fell asleep, you old man. Nah, I was just taking a nap. Forget Brookhaven. Let's go play a real game like Block's Fruits. Ben is the best game. Guys, what is the objective in this game? There is no objective. It's stupid. Okay, there we go. And then go back to you. Go back. Yeah. Okay. And then hit the three dots. Okay. And hit the thing. All right, so that was kind of just a small sample of what I is capable of. So we kind of begin with. According to Coursera, AI is a complex system that can do complex problems. And so a lot of it's just like uh, replicating what humans can do from calculating text, solving math problems, summarizing text. So it's just like very small basic stuff. And then I kind of look into different types. So we got neural intelligence, general intelligence, and super intelligence. So right now we're kind of facing with neural intelligence from basic machines like Netflix that can kind of like give you recommendations, and a lot of the basic machines that we can deal with are the ones that are told what to do specific tasks. So like claw machines that sort of grab things. We have Siri, um, which she's narrow. Like when we say narrow, we kind of just mean weak intelligence, and Siri is not the best um, if everybody has, if every has um, familiarity with it. Face recognition, and then chatbots. And then the ones that we are kind of going to look more into is general intelligence, which is ChatGPT. I mean, Watson computer, and a lot of these kind of take what we already have in the world, they kind of take that data and then kind of transform it in a way. And with ChatGPT, it, it can essentially do whatever you want it to do. Um, this is from taking data from what we already have. Super intelligence, we're not there yet. We hope to be, but at the same time, not a lot of us want, want to be there. I kind of used him as an example. Super intelligence essentially is just another human, pretty much. Um, with functions way beyond even normal human intelligence. And so recognizing our day-to-day, -day, so this kind of goes into specifics of it. So we got speech recognition. Uh, so this kind of uses a natural, natural language processing called NLP, and it promises, uh, pretty much uh, processes human speech. And so a lot of it's like in-text speech, um, you'll see that a lot. Um, and then we got customer service, and I think everybody has faced this whenever you go into a certain website or chat box will show up asking you, hey, do you have any questions? Uh, a lot of them are just chat bots. They're not actually humans. Computer vision, this kind of, kind of helps with like computer systems to drive uniform information. So a lot of visual images. Um, a lot of you see like ChatGPT if you ask, hey, AI, generate this image for me. That's usually a lot of computer vision. Recommendation engines, just yeah. like Netflix, um, takes what you have, what you've consumed, and it kind of creates like a little model of what you think you might like. And then um, automated stock trading, if you're familiar with it, um, a lot of it like, sometimes instead of just like going to stocks yourself, you can kind of implement a little system, you can tell it uh, what day, like when to buy, how to buy, how much to buy. So a lot of it is just uh, using that uh, automatic um, AI's, AI side of things. And so my call to action is to kind of just remind people, like from the video you saw, um, it has a lot of potentials. It's pretty scary just because of how accurate it can be. Um, 
And even now, like we don't really recognize what's going on around us, how much of it is AI. Um, we've got deep fakes now, so they kind of take pictures of celebrities, put on, on like fake faces. So AI, if used by a, an evil genius, um, it can pretty much end the world if, it, if you want it to. Um, so it's just like really be careful what kind of information you're consuming, where you're looking at. Um, constantly question and second guess yourself. I'm not saying doubt everything, but just question everything and just be really careful. And uh,